Hi all, today I'll be traveling to Surrey Hills in the Sydney city. It takes me roughly an hour to get to the city, so I was just watching Rick and Morty to pass the time. And yeah, the train was empty, so I enjoyed my alone time. Alone. <laughs> Hello Nathan. I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> I was gonna surprise you. Oh my god. So the quickest and easiest way to get to Cafe Kantaro is to get off at Central Station and take the light rail. From there, it is just a 16 minute walk to the cafe. I check Google Maps for accuracy by the way, so it's not wrong. This Japanese inspired cafe has a diverse range of brunch and matcha dessert menus that you just can't miss. Also the aesthetics here are very minimalistic and the interior design is not too crazy, which is why I love this cafe. Today's vlogging day. That one, the yeah. Ochazuke. Yeah, you can choose between the Samokusama and the Umiboshi. Huh? Do you want the smoked salmon or Umiboshi? Uh, the smoked salmon please. In my opinion, the price range is pretty reasonable and fair for a cafe in the city. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I was genuinely happy with my ice matcha latte because we had the choice of either dairy, oats, almond or soy milk to add to our matcha drink. Okay, ready? Go! <laughs> It was a really nice day to eat brunch outdoors and I was super duper excited to try the Ochazuke because I love smoked salmon so much. Our food came but of course the camera eats first and a photo shoot before we eat. How pretty is my friend Jenny, make sure to go follow her on Instagram. You thought I'll stop there, huh? Nope. Here's more videos of the beautiful food we ate. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stopping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. In the basement singing la 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 la. Made that extra. Did you get that? Yeah. After eating brunch, there was no way we are gonna pass up for matcha desserts. Today we chose matcha lemmingtons and lemmingtons is a staple of Australian food culture, in case you didn't know. And we got the matcha french toast, which looked and smelled better than it tasted. <laughs> Sorry, Can't allow someone like Look at pancake cake. I think I like the smell better. Personally, I think the matcha on the French toast overpowered the toast itself, which made it kind of hard to enjoy it as a dessert. But I really love the soft crumbly lemmington, so I'm not all about that negativity and criticism. I'll definitely go back to this cafe to try other menus. We took the light rail. I'm very camera shy. No, you're not. <laughs> She's a TikTok star. <laughs> Follow me at um, Binance. <laughs> <laughs> So this is behind the scenes of Nathan's Instagram photos. We always just try and find a cute spot when we walk on the street. And Patty will insert the final photos here. Model material. Oh, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> 
So currently we are at the UTS building, building two. I don't even go to this uni so it's okay. I've been out way too long, wonder when I'm gonna find the cusp I be with the special kids, no way you gon' ride my bus Eyes too sus, no trust Talking about love, you ain't talking about us We're gonna go ahead I don't give a fuck, find do yourself Talking that hundred bands running man I just wanna get the bag, I don't lag, I don't drag I just do the fucking dash, I just want the fucking cash I just wanna fucking smash, I don't draw the ball Cross lines like a running back Got a ball running back I don't fucking lack it seems like UTS has dramatically improved their study spaces and the overall look of their uni. I quite enjoy studying at UTS today and I'll do it again if I'm bothered to come to this city for study. Everyone's being so studious. After studying, we were all craving some sweet, sweet ice cream, so we popped over to Anita's, which is right behind Central Park Mall, and it's only a short walk from UTS Building 2. Man, look at all these different flavors. We were lucky, and we were allowed to sample taste a few before choosing our flavors of the night. Guess which one I chose? Mango and Luca. Oh man, Loka was my absolute fave because it had a strong hazelnut chocolatey taste which I absolutely love. Mango was great too, but it just couldn't compete with Loka at all. Nah, no, not at all. Anyway, that's the end of the night and I'm absolutely smashed. Hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more content like this. Thank you, bye!